farming. By the end of the Iron Age, Britain's landscape was a patchwork of small farms. Acres of woodland had been cleared to make way for more crops and livestock. Farmers worked together to grow oats, barley, millet, rye, corn, spelt, emmer and wheat. Some also kept livestock such as cattle, sheep, goats, pigs and geese. Large animals such as oxen were used to pull heavy loads. Others were kept for their wool and hides. Nothing went to waste, so the meat eventually found its way onto the dinner table. If it was salted or smoked, it lasted a long time without going rotten. The Celts developed successful farming techniques. They made fertiliser out of wood chippings, chalk, manure or loam, a mixture of sand and clay. Sharp iron sickles made harvesting much more efficient, while iron ploughs called ards could till much heavier soil than wooden or bronze ploughs. There is even a new, more efficient way of making flour, the quern stone. This was made of two circular stones, one on top of the other. Grain was placed between the stones and a handle was used to turn the stones and grind the grain into flour. All this farming success meant that fewer people died of starvation, so the population boomed. But life in the Iron Age wasn't all frolicking lambs and feasting villagers. These were violent times. Rival tribes regularly ransacked each other's villages, stole grain or burned down grain stores. Because of this, grain was stored in hill fort granaries, either underground or raised up on posts. It was also important to store plenty of extra grain in case of drought or famine. As well as having better technology, Iron Age farmers were experts at reading the weather and the seasons. Everything they did, including the religious festivals, revolved around four farming seasons. So let's take a closer look at each one. Spring. February to April. Ambol. Lambs and calves were born. Farmers endured many sleepless nights. Summer crops were sown. Summer, May to July. Beltane. The weather was much warmer. Animals were put out to graze and no longer needed to be brought inside at night. Sheep were sheared. Autumn, August to October. Lunasa. The crops ripened and were harvested. The fields were ploughed, ready for the next crops. Winter crops were sown. Winter. November to January. Samhain. Farmers made repairs around the farm and finished ploughing the fields. Animals were brought back inside for the coldest months. 